just in case you're new to the channel here's a little bit of context so i bought this plywood and epoxy ocean going catamaran which is a warren Pahi 42 one year ago for 2000 euros she had almost sunk due to rainwater ingress after spending 10 years in an anchorage here in the netherlands i want to get her in a bare bones sailing condition this summer and eventually sail her across oceans all right as you can probably tell from the introduction there's a bit of rot to be dealt with, so enjoy the video. Apologies for the wind noise. It's just been relentless the last seven days, but I'm starting on a job now, which is crucial to get sailing. And it is this rub rail and underneath, I can feel there's a lot of rot. And that's where the lashings go for the cross beam. So it's a really important place. I'm just gonna try and deconstruct it by just taking out the screws. I have to go underneath these dowels here and take the screws out. I am worried that once I take this off, that there's gonna be a whole can of worms. I don't want anything to really delay me too much. Uh, this is probably one of the last things that could really, really delay me. I've taken one screw out and it's taken me about half an hour just to get one screw out. So this is a job I'll probably just chip away at, but I can feel this rat under here. I've felt there's rot down here as well and uh, it's the first two beams on this side or the first two lashings which have this problem so yeah <laughs> a real bugger to get all the little bits of epoxy out of the screw heads but I've got most of it out. It took me ages and this is only a fraction of the amount that I have to do. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to unscrew them now at least. Bit of music. So this one's also rotten, so I need to go from all the way to about halfway of that one. There's quite a lot of screws, a lot of dowels, two, one, two, one. I don't really mind this type of work, it's very monotonous, but it's easy and when you've got music, it's, it's quite fun. So yeah, just I'll just dig away at these screw holes and try and make some progress. So I'm actually really happy, even though it looks really bad, it's really not that bad. There's 
wood here which is rotten I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up but as soon as it gets to here it's solid well is it solid that's the thing I think it is there is just a layer of rotten stuff I will just double check that but there's a layer of rotten wood and underneath that is solid fiberglass what looks like fiberglass or epoxy so it looks very fixable and there's no rabbit holes which I need to climb down I'll have to cut it and make a scarf joint to, to place it back in but it's good some sick effect so last night I released the video from last week and the the absolute joys of owning this YouTube channel are endless so the lower unit on one of the engines was letting water in that's why the oil was white I didn't know that so thank you very much and a lot of people said with my skateboard decoration to put some lights behind it and I had some remote control sort of cheap lights and I put them just behind it and it looks so good so thanks as well for that suggestion the boat yards also moved the remaining piece of my beam which I used for the mast and I've plunked it next to my boat and I think I'm going to use this for an aft platform bearer. Today uh, I'm just going to continue with this. I'm going to hopefully be able to cut it off at a nice angle so that, so that I can scarf it back on so that I can just reuse this tow rail. I'm going to check it out see if it's not too rotten and uh, I might reuse it if not I'll have to get another piece but we'll see. the purple bit that's all good that's all sound and um, it's just where the lashings go uh, it's just rotten plywood so I'll replace this plywood with a uh, hardwood to shape a block the same size and uh, glue and screw it in probably take out the screws and then yeah I just need to clean everything up and just investigate not perfect there is rot in a few places there was also a repair done on this bit so there's a load of epoxy which I'm gonna try and grind through I'm gonna have to take the guard off the grinder I know people are, don't like it when I do that but it's, it's not gonna fit up otherwise I guess what I'll do is I'll just fill everything with uh, epoxy and maybe put a layer of fiberglass over everything just a thin layer I just want to make these repairs good and then my, my plan is to get as far south as possible as soon as possible and whether I'll be able to get that far south as south as I want this year I don't know I would like to get to a boat yard where it's a little bit drier a little bit closer to the equator maybe Portugal or Spain and then uh, maybe haul out again and, and do work yeah I really don't know if I can handle another northern winter it's been it's it's difficult for me I think a lot of people are the same uh, when the weather's rubbish your mood is terrible and uh, and I just don't know if I can handle another winter here 
Uh, I really want to get as far south as possible, but safety is my main priority, so I, I don't want to rush it uh, and, and become shipwrecked. So, yeah, trying to find the balance. Hopefully I can do a good enough fix for this bit and then uh, get the lashings back on and then continue uh, getting the boat in a sailing condition. I didn't think I'd get there in the end, but now down to rot free wood and a little bit of fiberglass. So I'll make little templates and I've got some Iroko, which I was gonna use for a tiller bar, but I think I'll just do an aluminium tiller bar. So I'll use that Iroko, make pieces for these. been a bit of a sad evening because <laughs> I've discovered a couple of pretty big rot holes and the weather is starting to look a little bit ominous. I'm going to hopefully keep this dry overnight and then I should have two clear days. The weather's changing a lot. It's difficult to predict in spring. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow I can screw on my blocks which I've made and get the first layers of epoxy and uh, epoxy filler on. This whole piece needs a lot of filling but the further back towards the aft of the boat, it, it gets better and better. So it's just really bad here. I'll just keep digging tonight, hopefully be able to waterproof it and then tomorrow I'll start gluing stuff on. Let's give this a try. Tape with film on it. I'm gonna start with just filling uh, this, these bits. Uh, I've put screws in these blocks, which uh, I will screw on with a load of epoxy, but I will uh, take the screws out tomorrow once the epoxy's cured. I've seen firsthand what damage screws do. <laughs> I'm just using this Mr. Boat epoxy, so I need to weigh it out. But yeah, I'll just pre-coat everything with epoxy and then I'll use this uh, low density filler uh, to do the main bit of the filling, it's really good for filling large gaps and it's good for like vertical surfaces. We've got 150 mil all together.
So I was quite ambitious trying to fill gaps like this with this filler. So it's going to be a day of sanding tomorrow and then I'll have to reapply it. So I've just spent a bit of time cleaning up this piece which was the tow rail originally and at the surface level it does not look that great but it's actually very firm and it would be so much easier just putting this piece back on but yeah I'm just trying to weigh up whether to buy a new piece of hardwood, shape it and put it back on or just reuse this one, I don't know. And yeah it's just debating what, what's best like if I'm going to potentially get lifted out in a hotter country <laughs> uh, is it worth just putting this back on or I don't know it would probably take me another day to make another piece so I could do that it looks like actually this epoxy needs another like 24 hours to cure so I won't prepare this just yet I did buy another piece of wood, so I am going to just put a new piece of tow rail on and I had to buy, you know, like dowel cutting stuff and uh, I'm going to do dowels and stuff, which is new territory for me. So yeah, I bought a plank, it's a little bit too uh, wide, so I'll just have to cut it down and then route out a piece and then just try and get it so it's very similar to the other one. I'm still waiting for stuff for my engines, I really want to fix that leaky lower unit get my cables and controls all connected so i'm just waiting for that engine stuff at the moment hopefully that should come soon as well but yeah lots to be getting on with which is really good this uh was given to me by yap and i've not used this circular saw yet but it has such a great time saving device <laughs> i was going to do this whole three meter plank by clamping down a guide but we have a side guide but the side guide has no screws for it. Fingers crossed these little machine screws will fit. Oh yes, oh yes. So we're pretty much there, we're within a planing sort of distance. This piece has a sort of U-shape cut out of it and I bought myself 
a new toy. I feel bad buying this because I already have a router, but that one is really big and clunky, so I've got this one. And it's also thanks to you guys for watching these videos and also my patrons and coffee givers and all those supporters as well. It means that I can afford this tool. I'm so happy the videos are doing well and uh, I'm literally living the dream. So thank you very much, but yeah, I've got this router and hopefully it's gonna be easy enough to do. I thought about putting a plane down it, but I don't think the plane will go deep enough. Deep enough. So there's going to be lots and lots of passes with the router. I do love my tool, super easy with no wires. I put this little extra handle on and I've got most of it out. I just can't get to this middle strip, but I can cut it out quite nicely with my little multi-tool. We're getting there slowly. Still a lot of work to do on this plank. I need to drill and do the dowels and get the screws and all that stuff. But yeah, I really wish I would have got this done in this week's video. I also need to prepare this. All this epoxy work looks super dodgy right now, but it should clean up pretty well. But yeah, with the weather being like this, it's pretty nasty today. I'm just gonna edit this video, which you'll have just seen. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Like, it helps me so much. Thank you so much to my patrons, coffee givers, uh, PayPal one-offs, super thanks one-offs through YouTube. Uh, like I said, like I'm able to afford the tools which I want <laughs> and, uh, and get all these materials and stuff. So yeah, it's all the money that you guys are giving me is just going straight into the project. Yeah, hopefully next week I can get this put on or at least get my engines uh, running with the controls so I really do have a motorboat. I was considering as well maybe going to an anchorage for a week or two to test out the engines and maybe do a bit of work there and uh, kind of experience the cruising life a tiny bit but I'm not sure if that'll slow me down let me know what you think and yeah let me know any more advice and stuff that you have but thank you so much uh, again for watching and all your support really really appreciate it all right see you next week bye bye